Welcome back everybody to the Zeus Daz Animated Retro Game Channel. I go with Animal with Zeus and I bring you another Shit Game Time video review. This time as you can see we're going to be doing Exelon on the Amiga. Now this has been a paid request by YouTuber at Ray C. Thank you very much for your request mate. Are you doing okay? And uh, yes, he obviously doesn't take to this uh, version very kindly or, or enjoy it at all. Um, this came out on the ZX Spectrum, the other 8 bits. I played it on the ZX Spectrum 1 to 8K back in the day, and it is a phenomenal game on that particular machine. Great graphics, great sound effects, just it's a, one of those games that just meant to be on the 8 bit system. But they go and decide to release it on the 16 bits as well, the Atari ST and Amiga, and I think. This is a very bad fucking idea. Let's have a look. It was released in 1989 and it was published by Houston. Yeah, obviously. And uh, developed by Linnell and the artists. God, there's a lot of names on here. Who is it programmed by? Right. I'm going to try and bloody pronounce some of these. Guido or Grudu Henkel. Or Guy Henkel. Gary Felix. Michael. I cannot pronounce that name. Uh, J. Dave Rogers and Martin Bish or Bish. So you're looking at at least five people there that programmed this particular version. And uh, it's just, I don't know what to make of it. Anyway, let's crack on. Fire to start. A little bit loading, typical. Uh, right, so here we go. Duck. And bomb, duck. Thank you. It's just. Remember that game called Game Over? I don't think it did it come out on Amiga. I think it, no, Game Over Two came out on Amiga, didn't it? It looks very similar graphics. Even that didn't really shouldn't have warranted a 16-bit release. Um, it's just one of those games that should not be on the 16 bits. This included the music is very. Meh. And it repeats in a loop, it doesn't last very long. Bomb. Over there. Go, 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 go. Shoot. Oh Christ, I've lost my bullet. Of course you gotta ah uh, quick. Don't shoot the bullets too quickly. Spare them. Bloody hell. Oh, I've got past this screen, believe me. <laughs> believe me, I've got past this screen. Why is it pausing? Oh, can't go back, can I? No. Go away! Fuck's sake, it's frustrating. Oh yes, of course. Of course, I forgot about that. It's been a while since I've played this game on the... Oh, he's got me. No, he hasn't. Yeah, I passed it. I got me super gun. Shoot me. Boom. Lovely. Yeah, the Spectrum, the 1 to 8K Spectrum version was phenomenal. It was so much fun. Yeah, excellent graphics. And great sound effects. This, however, is just not Amiga. You wouldn't have a, you wouldn't show this game in a shop if you're trying to sell the Amiga. Put it that way. It's pretty. Oh, for sake! Go away! Let me through, you fucking things! 
stupid bloody things, whatever they are. I should have gone up there and got some more um, weaponry. Go that way? Yes, I can. Oh! Boom! No, I'm gonna die! Oh, took a power. Oh no! Oh, four. oh Right, good. Got some more upgrades there. How'd you. Oh no! How'd you get past that bit? That's ridiculous. Blow it up. That's how you do it. You gotta blow the machine. Set. Sends missiles. Five levels altogether. Very long levels, I might add. Same tune, it just doesn't do anything for me. Does this music do anything for you? It doesn't do anything for me. <gasps> oh, damn. Come on, where's that thing? I can't remember if it kills you or not. Oh! Oh, game over. You didn't do too bad there. bloody beginning again. Oh. Nope, I don't think so. Nope. Bye bye. Great. Hey, that's what I, I remember about this game. I, I didn't appreciate Get right at the end. And these things just keep coming at you. See? See? Is there an infinite... Is there a finite amount of them? You just point harvest, couldn't you? Look, just keep point harvesting. See, how are you supposed to get through this when they just keep coming at you? Look at that, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Oh, horrible. Right, let's get a better weapon. Oh, yeah, typical. What a surprise. I can imagine me getting very frustrated with this fucking game. Yeah, what a surprise. Oh, fuck off. Really? Really? Whatever, fucking die. See what I care. Frustrating as hell. Good, die. Good. Fuck you. Stupid bloody. You know, how are you supposed to get past some of these screens when they're right at the edge like that? Well, another game. It's just frustrating. Click me, I knew it, I knew it. It's just luck, really. You you can't Yeah, it's just luck. <laughs> Get 
through there. Boom. Go through this bullshit level again. I'm not going up there because I get blasted. Come on, where are you? Come on. There you're there. There you go. Great. Now that reminds me of Monty Mole on the ZX Spectrum, where it would just randomly shoot up like that. And it's luck whether you get past it or not. And here we go again, this fucking horrible bit of screen. Oh, did it first bloody time that time. Let me go all the way down here and then boom. Oof, lovely. Don't. Damn. I don't like these things. They're not fair. They don't play fair. It's just so annoying. <laughs> Fucking hate it. I hate it. It doesn't play as fair. There we go. Come on then. Come on then. Please let it be over. No, still gone. Game over. Good. Die. Finish. Yeah, thank fuck for that. Not playing this anymore. Absolutely shit. Bullshit and unfair. Annoying. Not even... Fucking... It's just not a shadow of the ZX Spectrum version. That played fair somewhat. This doesn't. I don't like it. You just can't. The collision detection. It's, it's the collision detection. It's fucking awful on this version. Same as Atari ST. It's basically a port. Just slightly different uh, sounding music. It's crap. Sorry, shit. It should never have seen the light of day on the 16 bits. It's absolutely phenomenal on the ZX Spectrum. Um, and this is another prime example of a game that should not have seen the light of day on its 16-bit Big Brothers. Just shouldn't have. So, yeah, rubbish. Um, very sub graphic-wise, very subpar for Amiga standards, even for 989. Music is the same boring tune. It's very meh, you know, meh. You wouldn't play this in your high finder so it's, it's just, it's boring. Very plain, mundane tune. Collision detection is absolutely bloody awful. Um, it's no fun. It, it's lost fun. If you want, if you want to play this how it should be, play it on the ZX Spectrum 1 to 8K. That is a brilliant game. It really is graphically lovely, and the sound effects are great. It plays better. It's smooth. Um, this is naff. So, and it's very annoying. So yeah, stay away from this. Stay away from this version on Atari STS. Very subpar for nineteen pounds. No, it was twenty four ninety five. Fucking shocker. This is when I think about nineteen eighty nine is when games, Amiga games, started to be five pound more. They were roughly the same price, nineteen ninety nine for a full price tag. But by this time, 1989, 1990, you started to see Amiga games hitting the twenty four pound ninety five mark. And this was one of them. Would you pay 25 quid for this back in 1989? Fuck me, it's terrible. Um, so with that in mind, what am I going to give it on the shitter meter? Well, I've said what I wanted to. I wouldn't play it again. It's going to cause rage quit more than anything. So I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give that 87 shits. That's it, 87 shits. The only, the only thing that's saving this game really is um, your character is pretty controllable. It's very responsive, but it just plays unfair. And I don't like the graphics for the Amiga on this version. I, the tune is very subpar along with the graphics. It's dull. You won't get any fun from this, it's boring. If you like Exelon, go and play on the ZX Spectrum 1 to 8K. That's the way to play this game. Should never seen the light of day on the 16 bits.
So what do you think about this game? Let me know in the comments below, please. Very interested to see. I could be right, I could be wrong, but that's my decision and that's the way it is. So once again, thank you very much for joining me on this edition of Shit Game Time. If you would like to place a request, you should know the, the routine by now. Video should pop up any moment in the top left corner. Followed by three random shit game times for you to enjoy. And uh, still five pound per, per request. And the money will continue to go towards uh, Snoopy, my Labrador's uh, vet bill. So um, I'm not sure if any of you know, tuning in for the first time, have, have known what's going on with him. But um, I'll leave a link in the video description to go to his GoFundMe. And you can watch all his videos there. That's where I place most of his videos from the moment he had his TPLA operation to the current day. Check up on him. But uh, yeah. He's still happy, he's still waggling and getting on with life, bless his heart. Right, until next time, take care of yourselves. Zeus, have a shit's fill. <laughs>